I'm a big fan of just using heavy duty garbage bags for temporary survival. They're orange so they're easy to see and that's another advantage over a black garbage bag but any garbage bag will work. Something a lot of people carry are emergency space blankets and uh, I have no problem with emergency space blankets. I, uh, I have some great applications for these for building emergency winter shelters. But as your sole survival device, you just need to know that an emergency space bank like this works really well in space, which is where they're designed to be used, where radiative heat loss is the primary means of heat loss. But most of us are engaging in wilderness activities on Earth, and you just need to know that here on Earth there are some issues with space blankets. The first issue is that, as you're probably noticing, it can get a little loud. So if you're trying to listen for a plane or some kind of rescue or other people calling for your name, it can be hard on a windy night to hear much. The other thing is, most people don't realize how small these things are. So on a windy day, I'm trying to use this to get out of the weather. What am I going to do with it? It's not really going to offer me a lot of protection. And when it gets windy, the wind is obviously going to be blowing up underneath it. But worse than that is, if I accidentally snag this on a small branch, just the smallest little snag, the thing will just rip and shatter into shards. So uh, emergency space blankets may not be the end-all item for your survival kit.